Today, I am going to re be reading a book to you called Meet the Anzacs. Here's the cover of the book. Written by, written by Claire Saxby, illustrated by Max Berry. This book is from my school, so just don't worry about all that stuff. Meet the Anzacs. Anzac stands for Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. It is the name given to the Australian and New Zealand troops who landed in Gallipoli in World War One. The Anzacs the Anzac name is now a symbol of bravery and mateship. This is the story of how the Anzac began. When England declared war on Germany for Germany for Germany on four fourth of August nineteen nineteen fourteen. Australia wanted to support the British Empire, but we were a new nation and didn't have a national army that could serve overseas, so the government put a call for volunteers. Men travelled on trains, rode horses, pedalled bikes and walked and walked and walked. To the cities. They came in their thousands eager to sign up. In New Zealand men were doing the same. I'm going to I'm going to serve my country. I need a job so I can feed my kids. I want to see the world. The join up queues stretch for miles Officials turned away who were missing teeth, who wore glasses, or had flat feet. Too old, too young, too short, too skinny. Training camps for soldiers popped up like mushrooms after rain. Exercise drills kept them fit and mock battles showed them how to fight as a team. The cities were abuzz with excitement of so many extra people. Off-duty soldiers went to the movies, played sports and waited. When time came to leave for war, families, friends and sweethearts crowded the docks to farewell their soldiers. The air was filled with cheering and streamers. We're so proud of you. Wish it was me. Keep safe. Most men thought they were going directly to war in Europe, but the ships were actually bored to Egypt. On board, the soldiers trained every day. You need to be fit. Men look sharp. Wait, I forgot to change the page. In this spare time, they played cards and tour. There were concerts and boxing matches. When they reached the equator, they held a crossing the line ceremony. It was like passing the halfway mark of a race. The ship stopped at Cairo after six long weeks at sea. The Australians and the New Zealanders set up a campsite side by side, side by side, close to the pyramids. I forgot where I was. 
The Australians and the New Zealanders set up a camp side, side by side to close, to close the Burmans. They, they swirled hot and fierce, full of sand. Lucky this is a short stop. I'm not unpacking. We'll be on our way. We'll be on our way back soon. Soon. Every morning, Buggles woke the soldiers for long march marches, marches, inspections, and in-camp drills. But there was still no action and plenty of off-duty time. The visitors, they, they visited the pyramid and the colourful. The colourful Cairo market. They rode camels all the all the while mm -hmm. all the while waiting for the call to action. Some days the men packed up camp, marched for hours, and set up in a new spot, only to pull the camps down again the same day. It was all practice for war. What a waste of time, let's get to fight. Although they weren't yet known as Anzacs, the Australians and New Zealanders were begging to work as a unit. They framed together organised cricket matches. Cricket and organised cricket matches. Newspapers were out of date before they reached Egypt. Letters from home took forever to find the men. As the weeks went on, the men grew more frustrated. It made heat worse and the pesky sands harder to bear. We've been training for months. Surely we're ready. Surely we're ready. The war will be over if we don't get a move on. After many false alarms, it was finally time to go to war. To go to war. The soldiers packed up the Cairo camp for the very last time. They were ready to take on the enemy and mate and make countries proud. They travelled by ship to an island in the Med Mediterranean. Mediterranean Sea. The, the, there the men practiced climbing over the sides of ships and down rope, down rope ladders into smaller landing boats. They were clues that the battle was close. Big guns were unpacked and assembled. Bags were packed. Bags were packed. I've never seen so many ships. I've never worked so hard. It must be soon. Late one night, the men learned learn that, that their war was about to begin. In... In a few hours, they were to land on the beach of Gallipoli and capture, and capture the Turkish peninsula, peep peninsula that's before dawn on 25, 25th of April 1915. The Australian and New Zealand scaled the rope ladders 
as the last man squeezed into a landing boat they push off into darkness. War was like nothing they could have imagined. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoy I hope you enjoyed this story. See you in the next video. Bye!